Hey guys, I thought I would show you a real quick flip through of this pocket planner I've been using lately. Uh, I don't know about anyone else, but basically since 2020 happened, I've been having a real hard time getting back into using a planner on a regular basis. Um, A6 is normally my jam, but I switched into this pocket size thinking that with the smaller size being more portable, that I might use it a little more. And so far that seems to actually be the case. So uh, this is just going to be quick. I don't really have this fully set up yet, but it is what it is right now. I just thought I'd show you how I'm using it and maybe you guys would have some ideas for me. I am in this pocket sized original Philofax. I bought this second hand. I really like it. Um, my only complaint is I kind of wish there was some more pockets in the front here. So uh, right now I am using this Pilot G2 the 0.38. It's very fine. Um, it's a little bit scratchy, but I like how fine it writes. Um, I have a picture of my boyfriend. He's so cute. Um, and then I've got some stamps, uh, a credit card. Then I have this. It's, I'm going to pull that out too far and show you my whole address and everything. Uh, but I just have all my, my address and phone number and stuff should my planner get lost. All that info in there. So my dividers, I just made myself out of some Cricut brand acetate that I got from Michaels and I just cut them out of my silhouette. Uh, this one you can see is a little rough from rubbing against the paper behind it, but these are totally functional for me right now. Um, I used my brother label maker uh, to label them just with some clear tape. This is just some cardstock from Michaels and then just these Avery, I believe, tabs or Post-it maybe brand tabs on top. Um, this is a Planner Monkey Co. sticker. It's a picture of me and my boyfriend. And then I'm using the Peanuts Planner Co. just freebie monthlies, um, just keeping track of my work schedule, things like that. Then I've struggled a little bit on whether to use weeklies or dailies. Here's a picture of me and my boyfriend and his son. Um, right now I'm using, this is also a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. This is my main, this is the one I always go back to. Um, I kind of want to use a daily, but this weekly has been working for me. I keep track of like, you know, well, I haven't kept track of much of anything this week, but uh, whether I take my medicine, making my bed, doing my devotions, then I want to start tracking like when I'm working on goals. And then over here, I keep track of like my weekly cleaning and then kind of my loose meal plan. And I've just got some extras back here. These, oh, okay. And then I have, these are from Sterling Inc. Um, just kind of a check off list type of thing. Uh, I thought this might kind of fill in the hole of not having dailies. I'm not flipping to this as often as I probably should, though. Um, I have my reoccurring tasks, which I'm working on setting up, like watering my plants, checking air filters once a month. Uh, obviously, I need to fill that out. Uh, here's some dailies. These are Roro Designs, um, which I like. They're like a Hobonichi kind of knockoff, but clearly I'm not using them. Okay, I'll flip open here. These are also Sterling Ink. My printer kind of printed them out a little funny, but um, I just use this for note pages. I had some podcast information on what I flipped through, um, but I just kind of like having, you can see some of these I screwed up, but having something kind of pretty in here, you know, even if I wanted to like write a qu quick letter or something, I've just got some paper in here. So I really like those. Um, here, this is just a sticker that came with my clippers. <laughs> um, I'm using these Peanuts Planner Co. Task Management. Um, like I'm working on podcasts. You know, I've got my blog to work on. Just various things to kind of break it down. I haven't clearly filled those completely out and used them to their full potential, but I think I will. I'm really liking them so far. Um, I believe these are from infinite lotus um these meal planning uh inserts which i used one week and then we've got some just washi and then another vinyl from planner monkey co 
uh, grocery guide from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I also have a password tracker in here, which I'm not going to show you because I have some passwords written down on it, but this is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I am terrible at remembering passwords, so I'm working on going through and writing them all down. Um, these are also Infinite Lotus, these gratitude trackers, I'm trying to get in the habit of tracking my gratitude daily. And it's, I just kind of liked this. You can date it and just write down three things. Kind of no muss, no fuss there. And then I also have these cleaning inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. Whether I'm gonna use them or not remains to be seen. Um, I do follow the Clean Mama weekly cleaning uh, schedule. And I didn't know if I would want to break it down any more than that. So far, I have not felt compelled, but I've got them in there just in case. Also, Infinite Lotus, this is a bill tracker I just need to fill out. Um, now that it's just me that I have to worry about, I don't really have that many bills. Um, but I do want to get more intentional with my money um, and start saving for some goals and stuff. So I want to get into tracking that more. And then just a page lifter back here and then a picture of me and my boyfriend and my kids and my grandson. And then I've got like my vaccine card in here. Um, so yeah, I don't have a ton in here yet, but so far what little I do have has been pretty functional. So I would like to keep expanding and adding to this. Um, if you have any great ideas for me or any pocket planner flips you think I need to see, then please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.